Hey guys, let's take a look at this easy one, 67, add binary. Uh, we're given two binary strings, like 111, we need to return the sum, also binary string. The string both non-empty and contains only characters 1 or 0. So this, well, this is just as similar as the previous question we did, it's 66, please take a look at there, which means we only need to handle the carryover. Yeah, so actually we can just create a new array and sum them up and uh, sum each digits of them. And uh, yeah, and uh, handle the carryover. It's very pretty straightforward. Yeah, let's do that. Let's carry over zero, right? And let result equals how long is it? So, mm hmm, this will be a question. So, let's say and a equals a dot man. Anyway, let result equals array, and then it would be mass max the the longer one of the. Uh, a string right a dot and b dot net okay I'll fill them with zero okay so let's i equals mm. Okay, okay, let's, we should do something like this. Let max net equals this. And initialize the result to all zeros. And uh, zero and let i equal zero means the index of the digits from right to left. So while i is uh, while i is uh, smaller because it's zero so it's smaller than max then uh, sum const sum would be we don't know which array is bigger which uh, which is number is bigger so we will say a uh, a dot then minus i or or is it uh, or zero if it might be undefined, right? Or it says some if it's bigger than zero, smaller than zero, then it should be zero. Or it's or if not, it should be a like this minus one, right? We did this plus the same for B okay B B B okay so results max then minus I equals sum divided by divided by uh, 2 The only chance that's that uh, okay, let's say it's some mm. yeah, let's mod mod it by two. Then it should be zero or one. So and the carry over would be some divided by one. 
or some by two. Math more sum is two, then carryover is one. Don't forget carryover, yay. I got it. So now all the digits are sum to the maximum length of the to longer string. Length of longer string, right? Yeah, and now we check if there's carryover. If there is still carryover, then zero. Oh yeah. Oh carryover now this yeah, it's updated all the time. One or zero, it's okay. So like this then we should unshift to one. Then finally we join. There's nothing of time complexity in this problem, just some just how we handle the carryover. I think it should work. I forgot to plus I forgot to plus plus increment I. My bad. Run the code. Hmm? Not a number. Hmm? What? Okay, if it's uh Oh should my maybe should be minus one. Okay. Run the code. Mm -hmm. Still, the max is two, right? So two is in zero. And then I will be one zero to one. We update it. Oh, here is the problem. Hmm, it seems okay. Cool, we're accepted. And uh, actually this problem is not difficult but uh, just to pay attention to the index the length thing don't make mistakes and pay attention to the extra carryover when all the iteration is done so that's all for this one see you next time bye bye